fanatics on the banks of Volca, cannibals in the mountain bunker, slavers on the shores of the dried out sea. How many monsters has the war given rise to? Or perhaps were they always there? And the war simply gave them a chance to show themselves and now we're stuck with them forever. Regardless, we can't afford to lose hope. We are getting ever closer to our dream. Finding a place where we could live, free from radiation and mutants. The maps we recovered in the desert have provided us with several promising options. And now the crew members are excitedly waiting for the Colonel's decision on where the Aurora should go next. Currently though, the train is calmly rolling eastward. The crew rests, and Stepan proposed to Katya. It was a proposal she couldn't refuse. Stands long ago, and it still persists. <clears throat> what does Crest even smoke? <laughs> it's terrible. In any case, I'm better now. I hate to interrupt, guys, but uh, you should come to the mess hall. The table is almost served. Thanks, Stepan. We'll be there in a moment. Shall we go, Artyom? Or shall we stay a little longer? It's so nice. You know, Artyom, I've been looking at Stepan and Katya, you and me, and thinking how lucky we are. It was so different with my parents. It was bad. Did I ever tell you why my mom died? Of course I didn't. It was because of Dad. He used to be even harsher back then. He used to come home from the barracks and reach for the bottle while taking off his boots. They'd quarrel, and then he'd stop appearing for a time. And while he was away, she'd start drinking too, and crying when she was sober. She'd feel better, would get kind of dreamy when drunk. You know how she used to call me. Just A. She'd hug me and say, one day, A, eh, you and I are going to go to Vladivostok, the city I was born in, and from there to a village on the ocean shore. I was five back then and didn't really get much, but I could imagine that village and the ocean so vividly because I believed her. And then she killed herself, drank some kind of poison. Father quit drinking after mom's death, did never pay much attention to me, but with her gone, he'd never leave me alone, took me along everywhere. We only talked about her a couple of times, though. I used to have this doll, Jana. I played make-believe that she was my daughter, and we went to the ocean together. Then my father hid it, told me it got lost. He probably didn't want me to agonize over mom's dream. Then I imagined she grew up and went to Vladivostok. And now I'm going, not to Vladivostok, but with you. The dream came true. By the way, I was always intrigued by what Dad dreams about. He should have some dreams, but what are they? Higher rank, he could choose any. Saving people? What would the saved do next, sit underground? I never understood him. What does he hope for in life? What makes him happy? Nothing, perhaps. He never really had any time to think about tomorrow. Down in the metro, those thoughts don't come casually. Here on the surface, though. I, for one, have something I want to do. I want to run through the sand barefoot. Build a sand castle for the kids. I'm imagining two. A boy and a girl. 
The boy would be a copy of you. We'd go swimming with mountains behind us. Wooden houses on the shore. The sun would wake us up every day, rising from the ocean. That harbor is our destination. Worth going there even if we have half the world to cross. Everyone should have a destination. A point on the map where they aspire to go, and where one could finally be happy. All our guys have their own. We broke out of the metro and are now starting to scatter. Not at once, of course. At first, we're all still running together, searching. But eventually, each of us will find a point like this and stay there. I don't know where my dad's destination is. Don't know where yours is either. But I know I love you a whole lot. Go, Artyom. I'll rest some more and join you later. Seen them dance. He Don't you worry. Incredible. You'll get another chance. A moment of your attention, please. Half a year on the road, and 4,000 clicks behind us. We have been through a lot. All right, people. I do understand I can't keep it a secret much longer. After a careful study of the satellite maps we've obtained, <laughs> and much deliberation, we found a place we could call our new home. <coughs> it is the river valley. There's forest and a hydroelectric power plant. Yeah. This place is quite far from densely populated areas, which, as our journey has proven, is important. We're about two days away from it now. So, congratulations, yeah. everyone. Yeah. 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 Yet, this is not our last order of business for today. Stepan, Katya. Oh, rings. Stepan, Katya, repeat after me. I take you to be my spouse. I take you to be my spouse. And vow to hold you from this day forward. And vow to for hold better, you from this day forward. For, for better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer, <coughs> for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and, and in health. To love and to cherish to and until to cherish death, 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 death do us part. A 
as the captain of this ship, I hereby pronounce you husband and wife. Live long and be happy. Oh, and Gorka! 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 diagnosis wouldn't be wise. A move from humid metro into the desert with its dry heat and sandstorms is a stress for us. Yes, I do think she'd be hit really bad right off the start had it my been gas. My thoughts exactly. Thus, first I'll check her condition to the best of my knowledge. Also, we're approaching the valley with its forest air. That alone could heal her. I'm sorry to intervene, but did something happen? Oh, Anna coughed up some blood. Oh god. Do you really think it's the sin? Sounds more like TV to me. That's for sure. We need to handle. We've got nothing to play out. And Harry does not know. What if... What if that the chair was like, Katya? What do we do? Please, damn it. There was an air defense battery station in our village. Right on the brink of war, they received a new drop. It saved a lot of people after gas exposure and general poisoning. I'll check my mom's record to find its name. I believe it was produced in the last year. Like a great plan. I'd also like to see this. Guys, 
Please don't worry. I've been feeling pretty bad as it is for ruining the party. Oh, come on. You didn't ruin anything. I just brought myself down to rock bottom over that bastard from Yamantel. Though it must just be the sand and desert climate. Of course that must be it. We were discussing exactly that just now. All right. A toast. To you guys. Just be happy together. Great toast to you! Полковник Васин приехал на фронт со своей молодой женой. Полковник Васин созвал свой полк и сказал им, пойдем домой. Мы ведем войну уже 70 лет, нас учили, что жизнь это бой. Но по новым данным разведки мы воевали сами с собой. Я видел генералов, они пьют и едят нашу смерть. И дети сходят с ума от того, что им нечего больше хотеть. А земля лежит в ржавчине, церкви смешались с золой. И если мы хотим, чтобы было куда вернуться, время вернуться домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. А кругом горят факелы, это сбор всех погибших частей. И люди, стрелявшие в наших отцов, строят планы на наших детей. Нас рожали по звуки марши, нас пугали тюрьмой. Но хватит ползать на брюхи, мы уже возвратились домой. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Этот поезд в огне, и нам не на что больше жать. Этот поезд в огне, и нам некуда больше бежать. Эта земля была нашей, пока мы не увязли в борьбе. Она умрет, если будет ничьей, пора вернуть эту землю себе. Yes, it is time we took this land back. And one more thing. We don't want surprises like the ones we had on the Volga or in Yamandau. So we're sending a scouting party ahead on a rail car. Artyom needs a volunteer to support him. Me! Did me! I'll check the hell out of that valley, please! <laughs> Something makes me think that Alyosha is mainly going to check if there are any Amazons or women in general there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all set. Frankly, I envy you, Stepan. You got a full family, a wife and child at once. And you don't have to worry about diapers or belly aches. Envy is a bad thing. <laughs> we're not the ones to avoid diapers, Colonel. In fact, we're planning to present Nastya with a little brother, if she doesn't object. I'd rather get a sister. We could play with dolls together. I could care for her. You could play Sparta in special operations with your brother. Ah, cut it out, Stepan. God knows we've had enough of operations. I don't know about you, but I'm tired. I'd like to retire. Time to have some life. 
You can't retire yet. You're too young. <laughs> I am old, Master. You're not. Ah, you said envy was a bad thing, Nadia. Hmm? But what am I to do? Your mom has you, but my Anna doesn't have a smart curl like you. Dad! Don't dad me! A 20-year-old won't even think about children. But I would sure like to see grandchildren at my age. Yeah, you'd teach them CQC. Dual-wielding pistols. <laughs> <laughs> I could come visit you. Of course, you're welcome, Nastya. The thing is, Grandpa Miller won't give up until he has grandchildren of his own. Hear that, Artyom? I don't even know what else to say. She's beautiful, sporting. Yeah, I'm Olympic level with a rifle. I get not having kids in Metro. Darkness, TB, rats, mutations. But what about here? <laughs> All right, Dad. We'll get to work on solving your problem tonight. And then, not how about a drink? The repopulation of Earth. Two kids. Yes, to children. To children. <laughs> I can't say I've ever been religious, but right now I'm begging all gods, please, watch over Anna and make the valley cure her of her affliction. In the meantime, Alyosha and I are on a recon mission. We have no idea of what is waiting for us there, though Alyosha seems convinced that there are going to be crowds of women eagerly anticipating his arrival. If that turns out to be the case, then I have the best companion possible for this mission.
Yes, I must say, I'm rather partial to this family. Take care for one. Makes your head swim. Never smelled air like this in my life. I bet if we spend a week there, it won't be too The rails are all bent. The whole track seems to be fixing to slide down. I sure hope it can hold our weight. Let's hail the Aurora and tell them to take the other road. Come in, Aurora. This is forward recon. Do you read? Over. Situation is completely awesome, Colonel. Sir, I'm a beautiful love here. Over. So the plan goes like this. We get to that dam, check it out quickly, and call them over. Just take a look at all this beauty, huh? Don't you want them to see it sooner? Look at that church for <laughs> Caught your friend, but I can see your two are not bandits. I'll help you out if you don't do anything stupid. You gotta run now. Just stay out of sight and you'll be fine. Catch you later.
The fuckers tied me up so tight I can't feel my arms. Uh, I owe you a big one, and I'll never forget this, I swear. Uh, these forest fuckers just left me here for the moon. Fast! Stop right there! It's the brethren of the coaster! Take another step and we run our rig on you! Aye! Another step and you die! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, so beat it, you scallywag! If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass! Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much! Look, I've been thinking about asking you all this time. All this pirate stuff, the corpses on the post, do you guys really think the teacher wanted this? The teacher wanted us to defend ourselves. Well, none of this stuff helps. The bandits have been seen in the villages. Well, our guys caught a drifter today. This just means they need us to remind them the lesson. That's why we're here. We will catch a couple and make some fresh scarecrows. Well, bandits, I do understand. They did terrible things here. But this new drifter doesn't look like a bandit. Perhaps he was just passing by. If he is not a bandit, he should have just passed us by. But no, he crawled out of the river here. I say make a scarecrow out of him and keep <coughs> the others away. I don't know about this, really. going to check out itself. Squirtles, probably. Just squirts.
up and you die. <laughs> yeah, so beat it, you scallywag. If you know what's good for your ground-loving ass. Even one of you drifters we caught today is too much. I've been thinking about asking all this time. All this pirate stuff, the corpses on the post. Do you guys really think the teacher wanted this? <laughs> the teacher wanted us to defend ourselves. Well, none of this stuff helps. The bandits have been seen in the village again. Plus, our guys caught a drifter today. <laughs> this just means they need us to remind them the lesson. That's why we're here. We'll catch a couple and make some fresh scarecrows. Well, bandits, I do understand. They did terrible things here. But this new drifter doesn't look like a bandit.
never know. <laughs> so what's up? Nobody. Go where you were going. Alone. Yeah. All right, let's cut the rope and take him to the camp with the first one. Hey, wait a minute. You pioneers already have one, and this is our catch. He got caught on our turf. The net is mine, so bite me. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you set the trap on our turf then? Uh, besides, you already have an intruder's backpack. I dived for the backpack, and you chickened out. Oh, I chickened out? You're pirates! You have more boats! And this one will face the forest court! Bojumoy, you're all cowards! He's an intruder, an enemy! What are you, a bandit? What did the teacher say? He said we must be different. Did you forget? Uh, isn't your head getting a bit too big? The teacher said we have to defend ourselves first. All the rest was later. Did you forget what the intruders would do here? He's an intruder too, so he must die before he brings the others. Enough! The forest court comes first. The court will decide if we kill him. <laughs>
you got out, you asshole. It takes real skill to get away from the master of the forest. This means you're dangerous. Damn it. Fucking backpack. I got greedy. I got greedy. Doctor sure has it easy. He can order me around and be on his way. Weaklings. You say that again and I'll deck you. Watch your tone. But he was saying shit about the boys who died there. All right. Anyhow, you pioneers shut your pants. Now we'll have to board the train. Better than waiting for their attack. Remember the teacher's word. We defend ourselves. Attack is the best form of defense. What? <laughs> I don't remember the teacher saying that. The teacher said Rest, and you're going to lose your voice if you continue like that. What's that to you? Nothing. You could go mute for all I care, but this thing isn't going to say a word, anyways.
yourself if you're so smart. <laughs> For. Aren't you taking this a little too personal? You sure don't look like you've been on a post. I haven't, but my friends have. <coughs> I'll continue with these two fuckers after a break. How many fingers did he have left? <laughs> hey! They got one of ours! That fucking bitch ass! Is here for sure. I'm gonna fight him and cut him up now. You're dead now.
pleasant surprise, man. It's me, your pal. You saved me just now, and I brought help. <laughs> Don't shoot! I give up! So you're not one of them, I see.
freeze drifter so we meet again though i bet you don't remember who dragged you out of the water my name is olga by the way was it you fighting the master of the forest awesome our hunters had been staying away from him for years damn it sorry teacher the locks all rusted up Your friend Alyosha is already at the dam. He said your cardinal won't wait, so you don't have much time. Sorry, I can't take you there. At today's council session, the pirates moved to attack your train. But they had no right to even call one without me present. As usual, I need to go and sort this out. But I have a few minutes to give you some directions. You need a boat to get to the dam. And our pirates keep all the boats at their swamp camp. They are not the sharing kind, but that's no reason to attack. Nobody wants bloodshed, so just stay out of their sight. Take the road to the barricade. Go down to the swamp and find the dock. That's where Alyosha and I took the boat from. Did you forgive me? There are some left, but be careful. Well, Drifter, take care. And don't make me sorry I helped you people. Tell Alyosha I said hi. I'll stay a bit longer to tend to the grave of the teacher. Decided to relax a bit before the trip. That's a good idea. And I am stuck in thought here. Once the master decided to haunt the vicinity, People all but stopped coming here, though they haven't forgotten. The teacher raised us all, taught us how to survive in the forest. If not for him, we'd all be long dead. So the girls used to come here every day, and the boys still make it from time to time. Even Roman does visit, though it was because of him that the teacher left back then. Most of us went on a trip down the river. There were just a few people left on duty in the camp. When we came back, we found it raided by bandits. It still pains me to remember the scene. Can't even describe it. Once we and the younger group were done crying, the teacher was digging the graves alone. The elder boys were nowhere to be seen. We helped the teacher with burying ours. It was dark already when the boys returned and sat around the campfire. Roman was so covered with blood. You could only see his eyes and teeth. Then they started talking. Tracking was easy. The bandits didn't even try covering their tracks. So the boys waited till they all got drunk in their camp and shot them with bows. Then Roman knifed the wounded like they were deer. The teacher just sat there listening. I can still see his chin tremble. And he didn't say anything, anything at all. They understood what he meant anyway. Come morning he was gone, to this church. At first he wouldn't speak to anyone, but us girls kept checking up on him, just to bring him some berries, or ask for advice, and gradually he started speaking to us. Still he was like a different man, so distant. He never talked to the older boys anymore though he'd reply to their letters, and to the rest of us who'd keep visiting him, he would always say we had to become their conscience, keep them from becoming monsters. But how do you do that? And they didn't stop at that either. Started calling themselves pirates, made the floated lumber mill in the swamp their private HQ. Then, they started hanging bandits from the posts. 
calling them musts. One day they took about ten bandits alive and used them to test all the boys. Made them kill the bastards. None of ours could do it. And they all got called cowards for that. And then got ostracized. That's how the pioneers came to be. Of course, they all calmed down by now. They are talking to each other, at least. But back then, only Luda and I could speak for the teacher at the council meetings. In the end, Luda and the few boys just couldn't take it anymore and left. I wonder if they found a better place to live. Not what, but whom? Do you know the drifter that the pioneers caught? What about him? That guy. Huh? Hey, get over there. Church to death. <laughs> Don't think anyone did. Why? I heard shooting like there was no tomorrow. Thought it was the bandits again. Then I saw the trees falling. Someone got the master now. I heard that too. That was definitely not one of our guys. We've no fools here. <laughs> must have been the intruder. Yeah, must have. Do you think he got away? I doubt that. The master doesn't joke around. Mm, yeah. Hey, who's that over there? The wolves are. 
a different story, though. Hey, what's up? You damned bandit!
got your tongue. So you can't knock on the door anymore, eh? As the teacher said, courtesy distinguishes us from bandits and other animals. Wait a moment. You're not one of ours. A bandit, then. Don't look like one. Though you never know with them bandits. Different shit every day. Am I right or what, Senya? You're always right, Admiral, sir. Uh, put a sock in it. Your nose is brown enough. Where was I? Ah, the bandit. Well, you're here. Which means that all those spineless worms and wannabe pirates are all dead. Am I right? Don't bother answering. Everyone knows I'm right. And good riddance, I say. Perhaps we should offer him our hospitality, Admiral, sir. He is a guest, even though he's a bandit. Ah, that's an idea. Take a seat, bandit. Let's have some tea. I bet you never tried anything quite like it. I gathered, dried, and brewed it myself. Can't get any help from this worthless lot. At least, they don't eat much. Hey, boys! Yeah! Trying our best, Admiral, sir! Ah, uh, quit your yapping. Making a worse racket than the damn aquas in heat. No respect for our guest, either. He can't get a word in edgewise. Don't mind them. To our meeting. That's a good tea. The fussy, ground-loving rats don't drink it, though. Radiation! Radiation! Radiation, my ass! Radiation. Just look at us! Dangerous. We're all healthy as can be! <laughs> Thanks for coming here. See how happy my boys are? We don't really have anyone to talk to here anymore. They all left We're all but forgotten here. Even Roman forgot about us. Yet he was here with us when we built this base. All the boys remember that. Don't you now? Yes, he was here! I remember. We all remember. That's right, boys. You all remember. But that bastard just forgot! And the other ground-loving rats, too! They all forgot! We're protecting them all with our lives here! At first, they were so happy. They shouted, We'll kill all the bandits! The pioneers are cowards! The teacher is wrong! We're better off attacking! Didn't they, boys? Yeah, they did! They shouted their throats sore! Yeah, louder than those bandits we shot! There you have it! My boys do remember! And those don't! You could always count on them! When you wanted someone to shout and call pioneers names. Aye, but when the going got tough, and the Aquas started attacking in their hundreds, they changed their tune. Oh, radiation. Oh, it's dangerous. Oh, the girls say teacher told them to tell us that we have to get out. Well, fighting the Aquas ain't as fun as hanging bandits from the posts. You can rob the bandits when you kill them, but mutants don't have much worth taking. So who cares if they're about to eat the whole valley, right? Pathetic rats. That's who they rats. are. Ground-loving rats. A bit late to start listening to the teacher, too. Though, those rats don't care whom they listen to. Be it teacher or the girls. If doing so gives them an excuse for chickening out. So, they all left. The cowards. Whew. 
Even the pioneers have more spine than that slime. They followed Ludmila to the dam. They were going to take the tunnels and then go along the reservoir, those adventurers. I've no idea if they actually got anywhere. But they weren't afraid of no radiation, that's for certain. Well, the only person who still has balls in that sorry lot is Olga. She did visit us a lot here, and she always thrashed those cowards at council sessions. Visit us, my ass! It's you who she visit! Yeah, right. Me! Though, if not for my spine wound, Olga and I would have turned this valley upside down. But now, who needs a cripple? To hell with her! A woman on a ship is bad luck. Besides, we stayed with you. Yes, my boys did stay here. I had to do some persuading to make them stay, though. Even you were going to abandon your old friend, weren't you? Weren't you? Come on, Admiral, sir. We'd never do that. Yeah, yeah. Tell that to this new guy. He seems to be all ears. But I can read you all like a book. And I say, you are going to leave me. And had I not brewed mighty, extra, super strong that day, you would have. No doubt about that. Hey, careful with the guitar. Got it, sir. I'll be careful. Come on, remember. This thing is an instrument! Yes, sir. An instrument! What the hell is up with you today? Do you want to scrub the deck so bad? Sorry, Admiral. Don't be sorry. Be better! How about you play something instead of dropping that guitar? I'd go for a shanty. Yes, Admiral. One shanty to coming up! Her. To hell! You're all brass loving rats! Rats! Yes, I've been thinking. Why don't we have a smoke? I say we should. Oh, this is good. Straw, the way I like it. This tea is as good for smoking as it is for brewing. It can also cure any sickness and solve your marital problems. <laughs> this smell is an acquired taste, but I like it a lot. And my boys here don't have any problems with it. Not anymore.
get some! Artyom? Damn, you're alive! I'm so glad to see you. And I just managed to get in contact with the Aurora. They are worried. And I get that. This place isn't as simple as it first seemed. Come, I'll show you. beast. Well, Artyom, help me here. Let's restore this line's tension. No matter how much I like you. In this case, I bid you farewell, my fair lady. Ah, the hell with it. Olga, I'll be back. I'll be waiting. Artyom, let's go! Olga! Remember what I told you! Nor the drugs we found along the way are of any help now. The illness has progressed too far. 
come. <laughs> 